Right, so in this video I would like to show you pages and actually show you everything inside this tab and what I find useful and what's, what's really good from a user point of view. I'm in here every single day. So on the left, on the right hand side here, you'll see that you'll see some categories. Um, and if you think of categories as funnels, and then as you create pages, you can actually put them into the, the category of that funnel. So, um, so this is my live webinar funnel. So I'm actually going to create a page and I'm just going to show you how we do this. So um, when you um, go to create a page, sorry, I forgot to show you, you go to the right hand side, you, you'll see this green button here for most of these categories, for most of the things you want to do. There's a big green button on the right hand side. You just press that and here and you can start creating a page. Now you can obviously do one from a blank canvas and you can actually create a beautiful page for pretty much anything with a blank canvas very, very quickly because everything's um, designed in blocks. And the reason they've done it like that is so that everything is mobile and tablet responsive because 70% of all internet traffic now is either on a mobile or tablet. So it's really important to have that. And most of the other landing page softwares don't focus on that first. Kartra does. And that is why I absolutely love Kartra because you can literally build all of your funnels really quickly. And you can you know, obviously create these for your clients, or create this for your business. And you can create them like in super lightning speed. So I'm just going to show you anyway, if we go into like you can see like you've got the webinar registration pages. You know, these are some of the pages they've used inside a webinar jam. Amazing. And then you've got all these different ones. But if we get a long form sales page, if we just choose one, uh, one of these down here, if we just preview that. That's another good thing you can do. Actually, you can preview the page. So you can see whether it's one you want before you actually import it. So we may want to choose that one, but let's just have a look at another one. That's pretty good. That's, I mean, it's amazing really what they, how they're able to do all this. So let's preview that one. That's pretty good, but let's, um, I think it might be that one that I wanted. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So that one's pretty smart. So we'll select that and then that's going to, you then have to come up and press launch builder. And this is where you create your funnel category. So um, if this is the first page you've created for that funnel, you obviously just give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine um, Paul. And then we're going to put that into our funnel. Now, if you haven't created a category, you can create one here. But because I have, I'm going to just call it funnel. And then I'm going to call that. I'm actually, I think I've created a Paul Murphy. So we'll just create Paul Murphy's and then we'll create that. And then you'll see these, if this is the first time, you'll see these cogs quite a lot for Alcatra. That's kind of just where it's loading. It's usually pretty quick. So you can see as it as that's coming up, I'll just sort of take you down the page and show you like how beautiful this is. I mean, this is, you know, for any business that you ever want to work with, you'd be able to create like some of the most amazing, stunning pages. I mean, look how cool that is. And then just to show you as well that these are all the blocks here, these little red circle, uh, sorry, red squares with the little cog inside are where the blocks are. So, and the reason for that is because if you actually go up here, you'll be able to see that that is the tablet version, all beautifully laid out, like spacing's perfect, amazing. And that's the mobile version. And again, all beautifully laid out with lots of amazing spaces. So if you, and the great thing is, is that say you wanted a completely different pricing plan or you wanted a different testimonial, you want a different section, you can actually delete the, the section here. So this one, I'm just seeing if I can find a testimonial. There is a testimonial section, right? So let's say for instance, we don't actually want that testimonial. We're going to put in a different one. Okay. And we decide to come over here and then you'll see all the different sections. So you can actually switch out these sections. And you can actually choose from a number of different blocks that they've pre-created for you. Um, and so you can make completely bespoke pages from um, already mobile responsive, tablet responsive, amazing blocks. So for instance, say we wanted to put this one in. So I'm just going to drop that there. So that's now our testimonial section instead of the one we had, which looks amazing. And uh, let's say, for instance, you know, we want to change the image. We would obviously just come over here. I'm not going to make this a training video on how to uh, like 
edit pages you can actually get that inside the cartridge academy but um yeah i mean you can see that and then just to show you how amazing this is if you make this now tablet i mean look at that that is just insane isn't it how they've actually done all that and if you make that mobile again you'll see they've considered everything in there as well amazing um and you can do that with anything and you can literally like if you want a different pricing plan you could let's take that one out and then let's just put in a section and let's look for pricing tables and you'll see that you've got all of these different pricing tables available so you can select whichever one you want let's say for instance we want and you'll be able to change all the color schemes and everything inside of here so let's say for instance we quite like the look of that one uh yeah we'll go with that one so we'll just drop that in there and there you can see that's all beautifully configured and ready to go out of the box and then if we want to have a look at that on tablet you can see that that's already been considered and worked out for you and the same again there so you would ne you know all you would need to do is literally just switch out for your images and for your pricing and your content and everything else is kind of considered for you and uh, you might want to change the color scheme but that's pretty much all you'd need to do so um, that's the first thing I want to show you. So I'm going to publish that live and then I'll show you that. We'll be able to see it. And I'll show you how you can create as well um, your own domain. So if you've, once you've connected your own domain in Kartra, I'll, I will make another video on that for you as well. But once you've created um, your own domain in Kartra, you get your page link here. And if you, another thing as well is that if you're, you, any of you guys use WordPress, if you want to embed these pages in WordPress, you just get the code. You install a plugin called Blank Slate, okay? And once you've installed that plugin, you literally, um, when you create a page on WordPress, you just go over and, and select the attribute Blank Slate, put this code in, and then you've got all the functionality of WordPress, but it will still be exactly the same Kartra page. So you can do that, and you'd get the, the, um, the code here. But otherwise, it's going to give you this kind of gobbledygook um, page because we haven't selected our domain so I can just come down here and select the, my domain here okay and um, if you haven't connected your domain that won't allow you to do that but once you've done that you can select your domain there and then you can call it whatever you want um, I'm going to call it Paul Murphy um, and then you'll see that that is now the domain and we can literally put that in the search bar and then you'll be able to see the page and within a matter of seconds we've created a page that looks like a company, you know, on the New York Stock Exchange, you know, like a massive company or something. Amazing. So, um, and that's the beauty of Kartra. You've got these kind of, you know, absolutely stunning pages. And that's actually a, a home page, but you can do this for any page you want. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you also inside the tracking side of things. So you can actually see how you can actually track your data. So, um, you can do a split test as well. So if you've got a specific page, okay, you can do an A, B split test um, and you just press this button and you start a split test. Now I haven't actually done this yet. Believe it or not, a lot of people say you should split test landing pages. I tend to try one and then try another. I actually just make an adjustment to the actual page. So you can do that inside of here. Um, so you can actually see that's there. And then you can get your analytics. now. Up here on, on the top here, you've got analytics. So you've got conversions, which will actually show you how many page visitors you're getting, how many people are opting in, how many people are actually, like if you've got an opt-in on that page, it's gonna show you the conversion, it's gonna show you that. So I'm gonna go into that in a moment. And then also you've got engagement, which is actually a heat map. So it's actually gonna show you the people that are scrolling on your page, the people that are staying a certain amount of time. It's actually gonna show you the actual, what people are doing on your pages. So this is incredible because you can actually get a picture of how your audience are reacting. If, you're, if your offer is a lot further down on your page and people are not scrolling, you can actually it'll be, it will be able to tell you that um, you need to move your offer up slightly up the page or you, you know, it'll give you data on what's happening based on what's going on on your page. So that is amazing and I'm gonna show you that. So we'll start with conversion. So you can actually see here that this was literally just a landing page with an opt-in. 
And um, you can see here, this is the funnel, this is the actual page, and this is how I'm tracking the data. This was literally just one page that I ran. I actually had about six pages that were identical for one offer because they were running from different links from different places. But this is just one of the pages. And I wanted to show you, look, you can actually see, look, because it, we're using Kartra, because everything works, everything's mobile responsive, you know, there's so many different ways traffic's coming in. Um, so as long as our offer's good, then we get high conversions with Kartra because um, they have thought of everything, right? So on this specific one, we've got 29 visitors. We've actually got 51% opt-in, which was fantastic, really good. And you can actually see as well here, this will show you the same, pretty much the same date as you see up here. And then it will tell you if you if there was any money involved with because this was just an opt-in, there was no money attributed. Um, so that's your conversion date. And obviously you can choose that based on your entire funnel. You can choose that based on just a specific page and how often you want to track that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to engagement. So I've chosen the same page here. So you can see we've got the Kartra funnel. That's the page that we were looking at. And, that, and because it was only ran for a couple of days, we've done all time. But if we do last seven days, we'll get the same data because that was just run the other day. So um, um, as you see, we've still got 29 visitors. This is actually now going to show us the heat map. It's going to show us exactly what's happening with this page. So this you can actually hover over these little question marks if you're not sure what any of this data means. But this is showing us that 60% of visitors stayed for over 10 seconds. And this is showing us the average time on page is 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. And then, and then this is the average time on page for everyone who stayed longer than 10 seconds was actually 6 minutes. Which is kind of nuts really because this is kind of just a basic opt-in page. But there's a little bit to read down here. Uh, but yeah, people were staying on average 6 minutes. So some people might have been making a cup of tea while they were sitting on this page, I guess. And then it was showing that the average scroll um, was 75%. And then those who stayed for longer than 10 seconds, the average scroll rate is 79%. So really amazing data. Um, and that's the, entire, like, that's the entire page's section. That's everything inside of here. So I'll see you in the next video.